All right. There are a few more tricks when you're simplifying a algebraic fraction. So let's recap a little bit with some simple ones. So 4a minus 12 over 8. Again, we cannot cancel the 4 with 8 nor the 12 with 8 because there's a minus there. I'm oh, sorry. There is a minus there. So what you need to do is we take out the factor. So we have the common factor is 4. So we have a minus 3 over 8. And then you can cancel it with 4 and 8. So we have 2. And at the end, you have a minus 3 over 2. This is after factorization before you performing factorization before you cancel thing out. Otherwise, nothing can be done. You cannot remove anything because there's a minus between it. There's another trick here. Um, sometimes when you see this is a minus 6b and also b minus a. All right. First of all, we see the 6. So we take the 6 away. So we have 6a minus b and this is b minus a. And now here's the trick, because when we see those, this is different. I need to swap. It's different from addition. Addition, you can do a plus b and b plus a. But then b minus a is different from a minus b. So what could we do? There is a trick here. Trick time. All right, this is a trick. That is, when you have b minus a, imagine you are taking a negative out. So negative 1 out, so we become negative b plus a. All right, and then you rearrange it because the sign, the symbol, belongs to the one after it. So you have minus 1, A minus B. Ba. So you can see that it's working. So what we're going to do is we, we transform the places, rearrange it by negative, and then we have A minus B. And now we can cancel the thing out because it's totally the same, especially minus subtraction. You will have to fix a little bit on that. So we have the whole AB cancel out, leaving the negative here. This is not much just minus. This is actually hidden a negative 1. So now we have negative 6 as the answer. So remember, this is a little trick that we, when you turn A minus B to A, B minus A to A minus B, you need to take a negative out. Actually, you are taking a common factor of minus 1 out. All right. So more on factorization. I'm sure you are familiar with the, uh, with the identities and so so what we have here is, let's see, um, yeah, we have x squared minus 1 over x squared plus 3x plus 2. So for this case, we will have to simplify it. And again, you cannot, again, you cannot just take away this x squared. So we need to do it both ways. On the top, x squared minus 1 will be equals to x plus 1 and x minus 1. That is the identity, different of 2 squared, if you remember. So now this is two multiplying things, so it should be happy. So we leave it up here. All right, now we work with the denominator with the cross method. So we have x times x become x squared, and then 2 times 1 becomes 2. Cross multiply it, see if it's work. 2x plus x equals to 3x, which is the same as the middle one, which means that we are, we are able to find out the fraction. So we have x plus 2 and x plus 1. Yay! Now we can factorize it by cancel the both common factor out. Both of them multiplying at x plus 1. So we can cancel that out. And this is our simplified fraction.